understanding and basic understanding of what OpenStack is, okay, and why it is needed at the first place, right? So, uh, uh, are you guys able to see my screen? Yeah. Okay, just, okay then, just one moment. I'm just going to go through a certain set of slides, okay? So uh, when we talk about OpenStack, okay, we we understand that we are talking about cloud basically, uh, which requires us to have a have a foundation on uh, uh, networking, uh, a little bit of Linux administration, a little bit of networking, and a little bit of virtualization information. Okay, so we're supposed to have the information about all these things. Now, when we talk about cloud computing, what do, what do we mean? We just say that we are only going to pay the model as we use, okay? So, uh, say for example, if we, want to, if, we, if we want to run certain set of virtual machines, but we do not want an entire infrastructure for the same, uh, we don't have to go and buy the infrastructure as well. We only have to pay for the virtual machine and the resources that we are using, okay? So that is a basic requirement for having the OpenStack or any other cloud per se. Say there is AWS in the market, there is OpenStack, there is Azure, uh, there is Citrix, uh, Citrix Cloud, there is IBM Bluemix Cloud. So there are so many cloud technologies which are available out there. And the major uh, purpose of all these cloud technologies is to make sure that the customer, the customer end that doesn't have to pay so much, not for the maintenance, not for the uh, hardware, not for the uh, any other software, but only for the virtual machine and the resources that the customer is using. Okay, so that is that is the ma major requirement for having a cloud. Now, when you have cloud, it doesn't mean that you have virtualization. Okay, so say for example, if you have a VMware environment which is entirely set up on a virtualization foundation, and you have the virtual machine in that environment, that does not necessarily mean that you have a cloud environment. Okay, in order to have a cloud environment, the model should be such that it should be flexible so that the customer himself can spawn the virtual machines, can extend the resources according to his or her availability or feasibility. You do not need an engineer all the time to perform such activities, but the customer himself can do so. Okay, and the customer is billable only for the amount of resources he or she has used. That is where you achieve cloud. Otherwise, if you have a VMware environment, you have a Hyper-V environment for the Microsoft, uh, and and um, you don't have these models, that means you do not have cloud. So there is a difference between virtualization and cloud. Of course, the cloud is built on the infrastructure, which is virtualization only. Okay. Now, what are the types of the cloud computing? We talk about what are the types of the cloud. We have three three major important uh, uh, examples for the cloud computing. The one we have is uh, infrastructure as a service. The other one is platform as a service, and the other one is software as a service. Okay. When we talk about infrastructure, deploy cloud on the top of it okay for you to deploy the cloud on the top of it so you can deploy you can you can have your infrastructure decide your infrastructure what type of infrastructure it is going to be but under that scenario what are the things that you would require you have to deal with networking you have to deal with storage you will have to deal with servers you have to deal with virtualization 
okay on the top of it is the responsibility of the customer it is not your responsibility so how do you provide that infrastructure is is completely in your hands when we talk about OpenStack now if you guys would have heard about AWS AWS is what AWS does the same thing however AWS is only about the front end Amazon uh, has um, uh, they, they do not let you involve into the back end of the system however OpenStack is an open resource it is it is freely available and it is completely uh, uh, files are completely modulated you can change the files you can create your own files you can automate so many things that makes OpenStack very flexible in the market okay so you can decide on what infrastructure you want your OpenStack to be launched into one of the greatest thing about OpenStack is that it can run over the commodity hardware easily okay so that's where that's where it has grasped uh, a, a very good amount of uh, you know um, uh, market uh, because of the le least amount of dependency involved with the infrastructure. Okay, so you know even if you have very smallest amount of hardware available with you, you can still run OpenStack. You can still run OpenStack. Okay, so as as your model keeps on increasing, you can later on add more and more hardware. So you can add later on the storage, compute, and resources like like so and so forth, right? So the here here this is where we lie: infrastructure as a service. Then there is platform as a service. So in platform, you also you also have to provide the operating system or a kind of a framework for the customers to run their applications upon. Right? like .NET framework, Java framework, things like that. So that becomes your platform as a service. Then there is software as a service. So software as a service is a very typical example of your Gmail. Okay, so this is just an application provided to you by Google. Where is it lying? How it is working? That is none of your business. All you want to do is just access it. Okay, so how that application works? Where is it storing all your mails? From which server it is getting you the responses and everything is 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 least of your concern. So that is a typical example of software as a service. The other examples are like Skype. Okay, um, so you can use them at use them at any location you want to. However, from where the request is getting fulfilled, you you don't have to bother about it, right? So this these are the main important uh, you know. Uh, um, uh, services which are available in, out there in the market uh, okay so um, when we talk about OpenStack uh, it, it has a it has a very good history about OpenStack it's, it's very new in the market uh, let me tell you be I'm being honest here uh, it's just been five years it is still uh, growing up uh, but uh, within the span of time it has matured quite a lot there are about 500 companies who are supporting as well as using OpenStack among which um, Intel, IBM, uh, Dell, uh, PayPal, uh, Rackspace, uh, Mirantis, Suze uh, these are only to name a few there are many companies who have collaborated themselves and they are working together um, uh, on the support of OpenStack or using the components of OpenStack in order to deploy their own private cloud so it is kind of a motivation for many companies to develop their own private cloud using OpenStack as a help to develop uh, internally uh, you know um, internally internal cloud so uh, say for example IBM has got Bluemix so they are using OpenStack modules only certain set of modules um, and rest of them they, they they are using their own components IBM components yeah so this is this is a very interesting uh, uh, you know turn of events in order to have the cloud uh, and then otherwise getting dependent on AWS which is costlier um, with respect to OpenStack. OpenStack is cheaper you don't have to pay for or using the uh, modules okay you can have the repositories you can have the set of files to yourself you don't have to pay for them however it, it's not free it's not free that's a general notion people feel like it is uh, since it is open source it is free that is not true you require certain set of tools you require the infrastructure support and lot many things so you will have to pay for the rest of the things however you are not going to pay for the repositories or the uh, for files or the modules that you want to use within OpenStack 
Okay, so that's where cost is also an effective matter. The other matter is the flexibility. So this methodology is a lot, lot more, uh, you know, um, beneficial as compared to the rest of them. Okay, now let's talk about the components which brings, which, which, which uh, uh, you know, talks about the foundation of OpenStack. The first one that we usually discuss about is Nova. Nova is a component which has which which provides your compute resources. When we talk about compute resources, we mean that RAM, hard disk, um, your CPU cycles, your ephemeral store, ephemeral disk. Uh, these are all provided by Nova component. Glance is an image service. It it stores the template, um, t uh, the template from which you have to launch your virtual machines. Okay, so this is your image repository. Next is your Swift storage service. So Swift is your object storage. So when we talk about object storage, it means that every request is going through going uh, going through an HTTP request. Okay, so it's 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 similar to your Google Drive. So you're uploading your folders and files. Um, also on Dropbox, you're just creating the folders, uploading the files, um, deleting the files. Okay. So Swift is an object storage. Neutron is the networking component. So all the networking happens with this component. Next is your Cinder. Cinder is your volume service. So Cinder is a legacy uh, storage service which requires SAN, which is storage area network in order to store the data of your virtual machines. Your virtual machines files are getting stored over here in order to manage the consistency. Next is your identity service, which is your Keystone identity service. Okay, So this is required for the authentication and authorization of a particular user. Once the user is authenticated, Keystone service is responsible to give the access to the user through all these modules. Horizon is the dashboard. It's a graphical user interface uh, in order to access OpenStack or the command line. Either way, you can use OpenStack. Okay. So how does it look like? Uh, see, basically, I'm most, mostly dependent on the command line. So if, if I hit on OpenStack status, uh, it's going to give me all the services which are running in my system at this point of time. So it is running my Nova services. It is running my Glance services. It is running my Keystone services, Horizon services, Neutron services, things like that. Okay. Let it go, it just takes a little time. Okay.
Yep. So you have these services running. You have Silometer, you have Cinder, you have Swift. Silometer is your alarming service. So um, if you if we, if we want to create certain set of alarms, we want to do the message logging uh, and things like that, we have to be dependent on uh, Silometer services. Okay. So um, I'm just taking time onto this dashboard. So are you guys you are you guys are able to hear me right? Mm. Just hang on a minute, okay? I'm using, since I'm using my office uh, connectivity, I have to make sure that I'm connected properly to log into the dashboard. It's important that it stays connected. If I'm using the office connection, it's not going to work. Are you guys able to hear me? Yes. Okay. So uh, I am not able to connect uh, through my dongle. It is showing as connecting. So the dashboard will not be able to load without it. See over here. So that will be a problem. Okay. But uh, we can do the same kind of things from the back end through the command line. Okay. So this is about your open stack. The components which I cover in OpenStack, but I mostly depend upon the command line. Okay, so I usually talk about Nova. So the installation part, we, we usually take care about the installation part as single node. Single node is all in one. Uh, and the installation through Backstack. Okay, so uh, uh, and and the another one is your multi-node installation. So multi-node installation is like three-node installation, which is which has got your compute in a different server, uh, neutron in a different server, and controller in a different server. Then we talk about Nova, Nova configuration, Nova files, changing Nova Nova modules, uh, changing Nova files, and uh, uh, using them. Um, talk about its architecture and everything. Then we have Swift and Cinder. These are the storage components. We talk about them a lot. Uh, we have to deep dive into these storage components. Keystone authentication service. We need to understand how this works and how this is how this establish the communication with other modules. Um, uh, then is what your silo meter. Silo meter is your metering service. It, it, it's important for scaling purposes. Okay, heat is your uh, um, uh, orchestration component. Okay, so this is also important one. Heat is your orchestration component. Then what? Uh, your glance, which is your image service. 
Okay, so we talk about this image service and how it stores the images and where it stores the images and how it uses the storages and the neutron component which is the networking component. Okay, so don't mind my spellings at this point of time. And Horizon dashboard. Okay, so this is our dashboard. Most of the times we use command line. I'm mostly dependent on command line but we can cover on all these topics, right? So this is all about OpenStack, okay? So do you guys have any questions for me? Yeah, I just have a bit. So what about integration? When you talk about integration, what do you uh, uh, specifically mean? Let me know that. Horizon dashboard, we need Horizon dashboard. Uh -huh. We need to integrate project. Uh, we have a project for that. We need integration. So um, we need to do integration from OpenStack and with Python and OpenStack. So okay. that is our requirement. Okay. See, I I already told. Um, I already discussed this. Uh, Python. I'm not go going to take Python. Although you know what integration that you're talking about. With Python, we do the same thing with Python also. So, so I've got this no work line file. What it does is it creates some security groups. Um, delete the security groups, add some security groups. It does the same thing in Python, but that will be a different course also. Your voice is not audible. Can you? That is so much. Are you able to hear me now? Yeah. Right. So the integration is a bit different for uh, it's a bit different for uh, Python. So when you talk about integration, are you talking about the integration with the Python? Is it the development? Yeah, yeah, it is. No, then th this is not the development. Then I will not be able to take the development. That's okay. Okay. Do you have any other question for me? I know. Thank you. Okay. So, let's uh, see. We have the same thing over here. So, if we learn this, uh, can we do that integration? Can we do of course. That? See. Um, well, even if you do the integration, it is important for you to actually learn the how components are working, right? How can you do the integration if you do not even know how the components are working? Correct? That, that's right. But at this point of time, can we able to do the both? We need to, we are in the process. So we need to do it as early as possible. Yeah, that's correct. So can we do that instead of the movies? Of course, you will be able to do that. Once you understand the concept, you will be able to do it. And uh, will you give any uh, help for us in our project? Yeah, yeah. We'll do all of these things. Huh? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will be helping, right? Yes, yes. So how long will you support us? Mm -hmm. What? How long will you support us in our, this project? <coughs> Uh, can you be a little louder if that is not possible? Could you just bring these things in the chat? Uh, how long will you be able to support us? No, I am not going to support. Support is not the one that is uh, possible over here. This is the training. So uh, this is going to be like 25 hours of training on OpenStack administration Red Hat. Okay? Thank you, Hina. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jansi, do you have any question for me? No, no questions. Thank you. Okay. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you've learned something, at least the beginning. Yeah. But, um, okay, all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.